Okay, you guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a different pattern. This time, I'm going to try to make the whole thing, but without the finish because I have not bring down here my stuff so i do not want to wake up the girls as always because they are getting so busy busy and forget about it i cannot do anything after that so for that reason i'm going to try to show you guys just how to make the pattern we get stop a bit right here and we are going to get about let me measure it about mm, let me see I need to make sure it's the right size kind of I'm going to get it 17 inches up to here 17 like this from here all the way up to here so 17 inches I'm going to leave that measurement thing down here and then I'm going to get all the beads into it in this case we are not going to count them And you know what? Yeah, I'm going to show you, yes, with the amount of inches because if I don't, we didn't know how it's going to look like, you know, because I have to return and go back and forth and stuff. So we have to make sure we get it right, you know what I'm saying? And except for the CBs, and, you know, it's always my CBs didn't have the right size. They are big, small, thick, thin, and all of that. They look like that. All right? So do not worry about how ugly my might look like because you guys are going to get the right size and everything. And you guys do not going to have a problem about that. All right? So do not worry. Just getting all the sizes however they are. Try to get in faster, but if I don't put the needle into the holes, they do not get it in it. They just go all over the place and do not want to get into my needle. They do not want to get into the needle at all. Depends on how long you like it, your necklace. It's not many inches that you're going to get it. All right. And then besides, you can make it that pattern I'm going to show you. You can make a, like a square rope or something. And then you can add this pattern into it. For now, I'm just showing you with one whole string of CBs, all right? But you guys can add it with other ropes. I don't know, maybe a square rope, round rope or whatever. You can make a very thin crochet rope and then finish it properly. And after that, you can add this pattern over it. And I think it come out good too. Me, I do not have that. So I'm just going to show you how to make it like that. And the other reason is because I do not have that many CBs. You know, I just have a little bit to show you guys like a pattern of 
everything so there is a problem let's say that I show you how to make like the stitch so now I'm going to try to show you guys how to make the necklace alright so I do not want to get this video too long so let me see that's enough this is like half of my neck I am a really fat neck my goodness and my goodness so we have to get more CBs in here Make sure it's about two inches away from your neck. And then it's going to be okay. And you can make this necklace uh, pattern to if you have a rope already made, you can use that. Or yes, some kind of cord. You can add this pattern to it. To it. It's very, very easy to add it into all that kind of material. A rope or a cord. Because in that case, you just add that pattern that going to be hanging over from that CBs that's all let me see how close I am about two more inches About one more inch. Let me see. I think that's going to be it. It's about half a, it's about an inch lower than your neck. You can use, um, you know, when you put it right here, you're going to get the closers or button or whatever you're going to use or clasps, whatever you're going to use at the end of this um, if it is cord, at the end of the course if it is beads, you know, at the end of the beads that's up to you alright, so what I'm going to do right here I'm going to pass the needle to a couple of CBs down like, like that because remember I do not going to finish it properly I'm just going to show you how to make the pattern. So I'm going to try to make some knots right here. And then cut the string out. And then I can get some more. A string to show you guys how to continue with the pattern. Like that. Make more knots right here. Like that. And hopefully I make a knot. Let me see. Yep make snap and then go down a couple of more just like that just to make sure it's not going to fall apart on the way in you know what I'm saying because that will be horrible 
pass it twice. Like that. Like that. Like that. Make sure the string is going to be straight where the other one is. Like that. And you can pass it twice, like so. Like this. Like this. And then pull it. Pass it for a couple of more. And then you cut it. Like that. Now we're going to get more string. So we can show you the pattern. How is it going to be? All right. I do not want to put too much because it's very hard to work with normal thread. It gets knotting really, really, really bad. And we do not like the nuts. We do not like, we do not like nuts at all. So, we're going to thread the needle. Hold the string really close to your fingertips. Like this. Make sure you got the hole straight to it. And then put the needle into the string. 